The Resort Board is a revolutionary electric four-wheel drive personal transportation device. It's the next evolution of the already globally popular golf board. There are some basic new user operating procedures you need to learn before riding a resort board, which are reviewed in this brief instructional video. After watching this instructional video, you'll be required to acknowledge your acceptance of all terms detailed in the resort board liability waiver and release. All new users should briefly practice riding a resort board in a flat, wide open, and obstacle-free area with no pedestrians or car traffic prior to heading out. The first step to familiarizing yourself with proper operation of the resort board is to learn how to properly use the stability bar thumb throttle. You also need to familiarize yourself with the on-off, forward reverse, and high-low switches. The high-low switch allows you to set the maximum speed to either 6 or 12 miles per hour. All new users should practice operating the resort board in low until they feel highly confident in their resort boarding ability. Prior to getting on the board, it is recommended that you first practice gradually moving the board forwards and backwards. Stand to the side of the board, making sure your feet and shins are safely away from the wheels. Slightly depress the thumb throttle mounted on the stability bar. The board will slowly move just a few feet forward. You can walk slowly alongside, perfecting your skill of controlling the board's speed. Once again, Always gradually depress the thumb throttle and accelerate the board slowly. Next, switch the board to reverse and practice the same skill of slowly moving the board, but this time backwards. Stepping on and off the resort board should be done slowly and carefully, especially if you're on uneven terrain. The proper stance for resort boarding is very intuitive. The user should stand in the traditional surfer stance, which is sideways on the board with feet shoulder width apart. Additionally, your feet should be slightly staggered, with the heels of your front foot on one edge and the toes of your back foot on the opposite edge. A wide surfer stance with a staggered foot position provides the greatest amount of stability and leverage to steer the board. As weight is increasingly applied to one edge of the board, the wheels will pivot, causing the board to turn. All resort boards are equipped with a stability bar. The stability bar can also be pushed or pulled right or left to enhance turning ability. However, the rider should primarily use the shifting of their weight from side to side as the principal way to steer a resort board. To ensure maximum stability, all users should firmly hold the stability bar at all times while the board is moving. It's important to firmly grip the stability bar, particularly when accelerating and decelerating. The stability bar may be equipped with a personal cooler or optional carry basket. It's important to make sure the cooler lid is fully closed and that coats and jackets, when not used, are securely tied around your waist, not placed in the carry basket where they may fly out when traveling at full speed. Use the optional carry basket only for heavy items, which will not fly out in the wind, like a camera or picnic basket. The resort board has a variety of features to ensure ease of use and safety, including an internal computer, that quickly decelerates the board whenever the thumb throttle is released, as well as an automatic parking brake. Depending on your speed, the board generally takes just slightly more than one second, approximately 30 feet to come to a complete stop from full speed. It's important for all users to always look ahead and operate the board a safe distance away from upcoming obstacles, people, and other resort boarders. Looking ahead and anticipating when you'll need to slow down or come to a complete stop is particularly important when approaching obstacles, people. The resort board has sufficient power to climb moderate hills. If the board gets stuck on an especially steep hill, simply press the throttle and walk alongside until you reach a flatter area. When traveling downhill, you only need to continue to provide slight continuous pressure to the thumb throttle to keep the board moving slowly. Even on a steep hill, when you fully let off the thumb throttle, you will come to a complete stop. It should take only a few minutes for most first-time users to perfect basic resort boarding skills. If you feel you have not sufficiently mastered the basic skills necessary for safe and proper resort board operation during your new user practice session, you should not go out. When contemplating a stopping point, try to park your board in a way that makes it easy to advance by parking parallel to any obstacles. If you find yourself blocked by an obstacle that prevents you from going forward, just switch your board to reverse and slowly back away until you have enough room to go around the obstruction. You may encounter busy sidewalks where you need to move slowly, 
and only go the same speed the pedestrians are walking. If on a bike path, keep to one side in order to allow oncoming bikes to safely go by. Be extra careful when riding on the shoulder of streets. Stay closely to the side of the road at all times. Most importantly, when on backcountry trails, you may encounter potholes, branches, rocks, boulders, and other debris. So always look way ahead and slowly go around any potential hazards. Riding a resort board is an adventure sports activity. As such, wearing a helmet is advised. At some resorts and in some states, use of a helmet may be required. All riders are advised to bring their own properly fitting helmet, which should at minimum protect both the front and back of the head. If the resort or state law allows use of the board without a helmet, the user is the ultimate judge as to whether they can safely operate the board without a helmet. The resort board is a motorized vehicle and the user needs to operate it with the same attention to safety as any motorized vehicle and must not use the board under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Remember, the resort board's safe use is your responsibility while in your possession. Never let anyone try your resort board without a proper new user orientation and previously watching the instructional video. We hope you enjoy surfing the earth as much as we do and that you become a resort board fan for many years to come. Once again, for more information on resort boarding, go to resortboard.com. Thank you.